Hi there, Collective. I hope everybody's doing all right tonight. Um, like and love to everybody. Um, I, I, I'd like to read um, from the, from this first um, before I begin the, the, the reading. Uh, I'm doing zodiac signs um, for um, whichever one that the, um, that the universe would like um, to, to give a message to. Okay, um, and it says, Ye must be born again. John 3, 7. You must be born again. Um, so whoever this is for is, um, um, you must be born again. That's what they, the message that they want to tell you. It's for Virgo. Okay. Um, um, uh, they got the Mars and Moon influence. Okay. Um, so I'll just go ahead and take those because they fell out with them. Um, I wanted to make sure it wasn't another uh, Zodiac sign. Okay. Um, so I'm going to tell you about um, Virgo and then I'm going to, let me show you. Okay, Virgo, look how beautiful. Okay, um, that's a six. And then you got the moon influence, which is like mystery and um, enlightened um, about secrets and things like that. Okay, um, some kind of intuition. And Mars, um, uh, that's a 14. And Mars is a 17. Okay, you have Mars influence and moon influence, Virgo. Okay, so um, I'm going to put those right there. Um, and let you know about Virgo real quick. Okay, it's um, Virgo. Virgo is earth mutable. Okay, key phrase, I analyze. Um, August 23rd to September 22nd. The realistic of earth creates a stable, quote, eye of the storm. Unquote, center in the swirl mutable energy and suggests shutting out all distractions in order to properly analyze the situation. The key phrase I analyze clearly states the motivation. In this situation, ask what can I what can be ignored and what must be attended to. The details matter. Okay? Um, the darker side of the Virgo is um, Analyze is a great skill as a paying is in as is paying attention to details. However, taken to an extreme, those gifts can become traps of pettiness and obsessiveness. Avoid being overly critical. Okay, um, your influence is Mars and the Moon, so we're going to find out what um, what Mars and the Moon is. Um, so don't be overly critical when you're analyzing. Okay. Um, that's what it's trying to tell you, okay, um, that you sometimes can be kind of cold. Um, it says, um, Mars. Mars is associated with Mars, the god of war. Mars represents some very powerful drives, such as competitive competitiveness, golly, I can't even talk, assertiveness, assertiveness, <laughs> and aggression. Issues about courage, confidence, passion, and strength are also part of Mars' domain, okay? And the moon influence over it um, is, oh, that's at the beginning. The moon influence over the Virgo right now, um, so the Mars, hold on. Mars is, um, like, um, um, has issues to do with like courage and confidence, passion, strength, um, and things like that. Okay, um, that's the that's the domain that it has the influence over. Um, the moon um, shows us the regularity of cycles and teaches um, about the importance of change as it moves through the cycles each month. It governs emotions, instinct, and intuition as well as memory and imagination. Issues around Maternal figures, traditions, adaptability can also be represented by the moon card. Okay, um, so, you know, you might be um, feeling some type of way about, like, um, your confidence in um, the things that you've analyzed and stuff like that. So we're going to find out, okay? Um, we're going to use these um, the green um, oracle deck for Virgo. Okay, um, so I ask you, Archangel Michael, to come down and um, protect us as we channel the messages for Virgo um, with the moon and the Mars influence on it. Um, and um, uh, angels of the highest white light, come down and um, 
uh, give you healing, clear messages to Virgo, okay? One, two, three, okay? So let's find out. Okay, we got two. We got the Weaver and the Pelican. Okay. Um, the, weaver, the Weaver's um, something like an Earth Angel, okay? Um, um, going by the book of... of Okay, we'll, we'll go on. Okay, um, the romantic um, floating in their emotions. Okay, um, so okay, so more, what I get here is um, the Earth Angel is is wanting something um, uh, real. Um, you're the Earth Angel. This is representing you um, as the Earth Angel. Okay, uh, Virgo, um, because you're using your in instinct and um, your intuition, and also being very confident in. And what you're manifesting, what you want, okay? Um, um, because you hold, see how he's got like a a wand that Pelican does. Um, you're wanting a fresh new start, like a brand spanking new start, um, and stability in it, okay? Um, it's like you manifested this before, but you didn't um put boundaries on it, okay? Um, you didn't put boundaries around it, um, and what you exactly what you wanted, okay? Um, um, the Weaver is um the bridge. Okay, um, you're stepping into a whole new life. Um, you're seeing things for the um, what they really truly are. You're using your instinct, okay, um, because you, you're confident in your um, like where your stance is, okay. Um, your instinct is telling you to stand. Um, the Mars influence is saying um, stand your ground and use your influence, um, your intuition. Um, um, you analyze things. Um, sometimes you can be overcritical at things, um, but don't be overcritical at this point. Um, you want uh, something um, that you can that you can be stable. Now, if you're already in a relationship, um, you want to re rekindle that. You want to uh, reignite that fire. Okay, that passionate fire. Okay, um, step into something unknown. Um, um, do something different. Um, you're tired of the same old same old, okay? Um, that you you're you're it's like you've been covered up, um, covering up all your emotions, okay? Um, because you're really feeling romantic, okay? You want your wish fulfillment, okay? Um, you're manifesting it, like you're putting boundaries on it. I want respect, I want honor, I want equal, um, I want to um be equal partner, so on and so forth, okay? Um is um what what is the unknown? Where's where's the unknown? Okay, the um ancestors, um the past and stuff, um past lives and stuff, um are here. Okay, and I see a little dog. <laughs> this looks like like a uh, Pomeranian or something. But yeah, the ancestors are here, um to help you into the unknown. Okay, um because Virgo, you you know something needs to change. Um, you it feels stagnant or something. Okay, um and it um it, it feels like. Like, you feel like you're, like, having a rebirth. Like you're having a, 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 a rebirth of yourself, okay? Uh, like this, like they said um, at the beginning, before I even pulled um, who it was for, okay? Um, because you're, you're, you're wanting to step through that new door um, because you want to, like, um, maybe go get, like, a makeover or um, change something about your style or something like that, okay? Um, yeah. Um, you're manifesting it. Um, it, it you're you're making it happen. Okay. Um, yeah, and 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 you're getting help. Okay. Um, um, cause you're feeling very really passionate about it. Um, just something must have happened, and it caused you to like um, go into a mode of of just wanting a whole different change. Um, you've been doing this for a while. Um, but it's coming. You're right there at it. Okay. Um, because something's going on. Something is happening right now, okay? You see how these were all around and they started falling into the water, okay? And you're almost to the shore, okay? Um, um, all that crap is uh, uh, calming down for you, okay? Um, yeah, the, the karma. Karma's here. It's, this is like a um, uh, something that you always wanted and the ancestors are swirling all around it to protect you. And um, because karma's here... And you're gonna have to face karma, or um, or karma's um, turning in your favor um, because you've um, paid the prices for um, the past life of situations. Okay, um, 
you <sighs> okay something's been um like stirring around in your mind like um about doing some kind of um online or standing on a stage or entertaining people um singing dancing something like that um, something stirring around in your mind about it, okay, um, Virgo, um, use your intuition on that, okay, um, because you, all you want is peace, um, you've been going through a lot of stuff, uh, receiving a lot of messages, um, like, um, like you're awakened, and you've been receiving a lot of messages, and it's causing you to, like, um, be drained of energy, um, this is your life path, okay, and, um, they're trying to, like, tell you that, okay, uh, yeah, um, you're getting really, really big messages, like it's overloading you, okay, and you need a vacation, because <laughs> you're coming out of the mud, you're like, okay, I'm awakened now, um, now I can shine, okay, um, I can shine, I'm leaving all that other crap behind, um, and I'm healing, I'm going to my treasure, um, my treasure is a healing heart, okay, um, to be healed, okay, um, because you're a romantic, okay, um, you've had experiences in your life, um, you've had a long life path, okay, a long life journey so far, okay, and, um, you're like the tiny dancer, okay, um, uh, something magical about you, okay, but somebody's been trying to hold you back, okay, see this fire that comes in, it looks like it's trying to grab your magic, okay, um, and, and, and it could be a, a love, someone that you love, um, this, um, polar opposite of yours, okay, um, it makes you get all in your emotions and, ba and holds you back, okay, um, but you're stepping out of that and you're coming out of the veil, okay, um, like this ace, um, this, uh, lotus that, that popped out of the veil, okay, see all these other ones down here? You're popping up and shining, okay, um, because you're getting on the maze. Um, this is something to do with the spiritual plane, okay. Um, you made a wish. You made a wish during really rocky times, which might be right now, okay. And um, they're making sure that that wish comes true um, because the bridge is leading you to wish fulfillment. See, that's already been laying there, okay. Um, the bridge is leading you to uh, wish fulfillment, and you have to go through the maze because... Um, your story is written in the book of life, okay? Um, you're going to rise up out of the ashes, um, all that chaos, and become the phoenix, the star, okay? Um, you're, you're, it, all your wishes are going to come true. Um, you're the dreamer of your dreams, okay? You're the composer. Um, and you've been having dreams about it. Um, you've been having some types of dreams about, um, look, phew, look, you can't, you can't make it up. Look, I, I pulled that card. Right after the maze, the dreamer card, and then you actually come up out of the ashes like you shine. It come out right beside the um, wish fulfillment, the ten of lotuses, okay? Um, life on earth has been a betrayal to you, you feel, okay, in your soul. You feel like it's been so hard, um, and now karma's coming to change that. Um, everything's going to change and turn out um, for the highest good, okay? Um, so... Um, there may be a storm, um, but you fought it off and, um, and, and got rid of all those, um, if, like, people that were causing, like, chaos that, um, you, 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 you shared a lot of love to these people, um, and, 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 um, your ancestors put a stop to whatever they was doing to you, okay, to put, to hold a stop to you, okay, um, you prayed and prayed and prayed about it. Um, you're very, very, um, in touch with your spiritual part of you, um, and you've been praying about the things that's been happening. Um, it changed you a lot, um, whatever it was that happened, it changed you a lot, okay? Um, uh, but you're getting a new, um, uh, a new start at this, okay? Um, this is a, an ace of trees, and then you got the infinite path, okay? Um, this is a, a journey, okay? Um, go out in nature and, um, manifest these things. The nature helps you. Um, it helps heal you, heal you somehow, okay? It opens up your eyes. Okay, um, that's spirit telling you that, okay? Um, spirit telling you to go out in nature and, um, um, you've made a lot of sacrifices, um, a lot, and, um, you deserve, um, like a break, okay? Um, you've been drained. Um, you're going through a rebirth, okay? Um, this is destiny. This is to do with the past life, Okay, I want to say something to do with Egyptian. Um, you get really in touch with Egyptian. Um, that may be why I picked these cards, because it has like the Eye of Horus on it. 
Um, and these are like, um, uh, uh, sometimes you feel, um, look, there's the, there's, look, there's Egyptian hieroglyphs on that. Okay, so your your past life are connected something to an Egyptian um, royalty or something. Okay, um, yeah, it's uh, meant to be. Um, there there might be some rocky waters at the beginning. Okay, um, but that'll be you know smooth out um, because you're meant. This is meant to be for you. Okay, um, it's always meant to be. Um, look, something has. Like, turn the light on above your head, okay? Because um, something was luring you away, and you realized who it was. You realized they were doing that. It could put you at a crossroads, uh, put you on the dark side of the path, and you, like, lost yourself. Um, but you started coming up through the path to this light up here, okay? Um, and this light up here is... Um, is your doorway, okay, um, because you almost lost your kids, there was a lot of fighting, a lot of chaos going on, a lot of change happening to you, happening to everybody around you, um, you had some childhood traumas that need healing, and all of that, but um, you're a vessel, you're the vessel for the light, okay, um, so so go into that and do the work, okay, um, let it light your, 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 your passions, okay, um, so I'm going to put them right there, um, Virgo, and um, ask, um, the oracle cards, uh, the universal oracle cards to give you a message um, of, of what what you need to hear right now, okay? Um, so we're going to ask the oracle cards. Um, what does Virgo need to hear right now with the moon and Mars um, influence? What do you need them to know? Um, the influence of uh, moon and Mars, Virgo, um, how will that, that um, affect them in, at this time right now, okay? Um, it's, okay. So thank you. Thank you, universe. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, everybody. Okay. Oh, and they want another one. Oh, this one. Okay. Okay. Um, if you um, if anything resonates with you guys um, and um, you like uh, like it, uh, um, comment on um, what kind of style you like. Um, if you like the zodiac types, um, if you like the collective types, or just like them all. Um, uh, like um, if you like and subscribe. Uh, to the page it helps me connect to your energy better and um if you'd like to donate to the channel it's a uh, dollar sign um angel moon uh it's cash app dollar sign angel moon um 6237 that's a capital a okay um the universe would like for you to know um my faith has the power to turn trauma into healing conflict into growth and fear into love okay um this is also ancestral and also um, uh, the, the moon cycles, okay, um, give yourself time, okay, um, don't, don't get over, over, look, in the moon, too, <laughs> okay, it says, when I think I've surrendered, I surrender more, okay, make a wish, blow the dandelion, okay, um, it says, um, the presence of love will always cast out fear, and there's something to do with a full moon that's going to um, end a cycle for you and it's going to help you, okay? Okay, Virgo, I hope you enjoyed and um, love and light and see you on the flip side.